Good evening, amazing people of God. My name is Andrew O'Connell. I currently live in Victoria, British Columbia. It is my honor and privilege to be a part of what God is doing, to be a part of what God is establishing, to be a part of what God is birthing in the nation of Canada. I just love to see how God is pouring out on, on the Canadian firewall. It is amazing just to see, just to be able to partner with intercessors from across the nation. And just to see the gift, different giftings, different anointings, different callings coming together as one. And I believe that as we move from a place of intercession to a place of governmental decrees, we are aligning, we are positioning ourselves for the greatest move of God the world has ever seen. We are positioning ourselves for the greatest outpouring of, of signs and wonders and harvest that Canada has ever seen. And your Canada belongs to Jesus. This nation was founded on the scripture that he, God, will have dominion from sea to shining sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. No matter what, what it looks like in the natural, no matter what it looks like in the news, God will have his dominion. And I just want to honor all the leadership and all the facilitators of the firewall. I believe that this prayer and intercession is birthing revival. And I believe, I, I feel in my spirit that there is a sound that is being released. And it's a sound of revival. It is a sound of awakening from the west to the east, from the north to the south. There is a sound of his heart that is being released into the atmosphere of our nation. And we shall see Canada saved. It is my honor and privilege to share with you just for a few minutes on what God has laid on my heart. And I pray that you encounter the Holy Spirit in a new way. Uh, a few weeks ago, I felt the Lord say, Andrew, I want you to call a 40-day harvest challenge. So I be, as I began to seek God and began to pray into it, I felt him say, I want you to call the nation to 40 days of intentional evangelism. So it's immediately, as soon as I got that, we got a team together. We began to pray together. We began to strategize. We began to discern together. So what this 40-day harvest challenge is going to look like is it's going to be myself, and six other evangelists from across the nation. We're going to be giving a five to ten minute teaching on evangelism every morning on Facebook Live. What is evangelism? What's the heart behind it? What's the protocol? How do you step out? What not to say? And I believe that as we do this every day, that we are stepping, we are actually going to see the church mobilized in a greater realm of harvest. That we are actually going to see the church mobilized in a greater realm of, of evangelism. And it's going to be starting, we felt this started on November 21st, leading up to December 31st, of 40 days of intentional evangelism, leading up to the new year. And I believe that as we do this, it's a prophetic statement that we, that 2021, will be the beginning of the greatest move of God that Canada has ever seen. And if you look at, uh, I, I, uh, I just felt the Lord say that tw it's 21 days to break a habit and 40 days to break a stronghold. If you look at Jesus in the wilderness, he was in the wilderness for 40 days. And when he came out of that wilderness, he came out in power with signs and wonders and miracles. So as, as we do this 40 days, we're breaking the stronghold of the fear of man. We're breaking the stronghold of the fear of failure. We're breaking the stronghold of the fear of rejection. And we are setting a precedence that 2021 will be the year of, of the beginning, uh, it will be the year 
of the greatest outpouring the world has ever seen. It's going to start in 2021. I believe it has already started since COVID. Just honoring the different ministries who've seen many, many people come into the kingdom of God. But I believe that in 2021, it's going to be amplified to such an extent that Jesus will be glorified. That Jesus will be magnified. Because it's not about the big name. It's not about the, the who's who of the charismatic zoo. It's about Jesus being magnified through a nameless, faceless generation. Canada belongs to him. And we shall see Canada saved. So I want to encourage you and put the call out. If you feel led to do this, stand with us. We have a, a, a personal... Uh, 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 we have a personal uh, 40 Days of Harvest page on Facebook. But if, you're, if you feel like you can't, uh, if you can't commit, if you can pray into this for us, let's just believe that God will have his glory, that God will have his, Jesus will have his reward. He didn't just die to get us to church. He didn't just die, die to have blessed me meetings. He died so that we could be the hands and feet of Jesus. We shall see Canada saved. Amen. Bless you. I love you. I honor you. Have an amazing day.